Tonight, serious safety concerns in Seattle's South Park neighborhood. An alleged burglar is now in intensive care after a homeowner shot him overnight. Como's Gabe Cohen joins us live outside the house where that happened. Gabe? Uh, Eric Michelle, signs line this fence behind me warning people that the homeowner here is armed. But police say that bold burglar ignored them, tried to break in, and ended up shot. A stunning scene in South Park. Police finding a 41-year-old with a bullet wound in his shoulder and a handgun beside him. After they say he tried to break into this house, only to have the homeowner shoot him with a rifle from her roof. Was she within her rights when she shot him? Yeah, you're, you're well within your rights when you shoot somebody if you are... If you believe your safety is in danger. I was surprised, but not really surprised with how much stuff has been going on down here. Brad Chrysler works in this industrial area and knows the woman who lives here. I feel bad, but uh, she seems to be doing okay. The shooting comes just two days after burglars ransacked the same home while the owner was away. Are you guys looking into a possible connection between the two? Yeah, if, if there's that connection, we'll absolutely make it. Tonight, workers here are on edge, telling me they often fear for their safety. When I get to work early in the morning, I just keep my head turned a lot when I get down there. Just be safe. It's terrible down here. And something needs to get done. Seattle police say burglaries are down 14% in South Park so far this year, though they did spike 33% in 2018. The two years that I've worked here, we've had a hundred thousand dollars worth of tools and supplies stolen. And now a frightening case of self-defense is raising concerns even higher. It's not fair that, especially in this area, we have to deal with all this. And that alleged burglar is still in critical condition tonight. Police arresting two other people they say were fleeing in a car when officers arrived. South Park is one of seven neighborhoods where Seattle police launched emphasis patrols back in May, then extending those patrols. Today, I asked Seattle police if those patrols are still going on. They couldn't tell me. Michelle.